inspired by this beautiful music, I would like to start by asking you to imagine the connections between music and flying. I think one immediate connection comes to my mind. Music transports our soul very high, right? But um, would it be possible to have musical notes literally taking off? That's inspired by this question that I would like to start by sharing with you a few ideas on how music, art, and engineering can be brought together through the use of drones. Drones are pervasive in our lives nowadays. They can be used for several applications, from agriculture to search and rescue, to filming, delivering packages, just to name a few. In fact, recently, drones have delivered blood to patients in remote areas of Rwanda, therefore potentially saving human lives. We all know that drones, they fly, they are flying machines. And flying has always fascinated people throughout history. One person that was particularly fascinated by flying was Leonardo da Vinci, who lived from 1452 to 1519. He was born in Italy, died in France. Leonardo da Vinci was an observer of nature and was a very, very smart person. He observed birds flying, and he took careful notes in his sketchbooks, his famous sketchbooks. What people sometimes don't know is that he was also believed to be the first one to design and sketch a helicopter. One of the first designs of a helicopter was sketched by Leonardo da Vinci. There you see in the picture. Besides being fascinated by flying, Leonardo was also a very well-known artist, as you all know. He was a painter, he was a sculptor, and he did several drawings that are included in his famous notebooks. One of those drawings is the so-called Vitruvian Man. Vitruvian comes from Vitruvius, who was a Roman architect that studied ideal proportions for human bodies. So if Leonardo were to leave today, do you think he would be interested in drones? I think he would, and I don't think uh, I'm the only person. Because recently, the Vitruvian man gave origin to a flight test design of a drone. <laughs> so from the, for the rest of the talk, I would like to share with you the ideas that we have been pursuing in my lab at the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering of Concordia University. See, I'm a very privileged person because I have the pleasure of working with very creative students. A group of multidisciplinary students from engineers to uh, visual artists and people with background in music technology. So what we decided to do in the lab was to mount an LED, which stands for Light Emitting Diode, on top of a drone and have it fly in a dark room. With this, we use a technique that is called light painting. So light painting is obtaining photographs from a source of light that moves in space. And we had a camera mounted on the ceiling with large exposure time, and we got fascinating pictures with the drone moving around. These are called Lissajou figures. Some of them very, very complex. Some of them might remind you of Celtic knots, but they are certainly very, very interesting pictures. Now I'd like to pause here for a second and perhaps go on to music and try to connect to this. So if a drone can fly trajectories as these, so be such beautiful trajectories, could you associate these trajectories with music? And if so, how would we do that? Here's one idea. What you are looking at now is the circle of notes. In Western music, there are 12 notes. If we actually space them in a circle, we obtain the circle of notes. Makes sense. So if a musician is playing a note of C or Do, we could program a, a, a quadrotor drone, or any other drone, to hover over the note of C in the position of the note of C. If the musician then switches to an E, or me, then we could program the quadrotor to move ar along the circle to the position of E. So this is a possible idea to have circle trajectories as the music is being played. And I would like to be very clear here, this is reacting to real-time music. It's reacting to improvised music. We don't know what the person is going to play, but we can program the drone to react in a given way to the notes that are being played. So if you look at this in three-dimensional space, you see a circle. The great advantage of, or one of the great advantages of drones is that they can move freely in 3D space, in six degrees of freedom, in fact. 
So they can reach places where, for example, dancers could not. And we can imagine post potential choreographies of drones to the sound of music. For example, another idea would be to unfold this circle into a helix, where if you're playing in higher octaves, then the drone would go higher and would fly at lower altitudes for lower octaves. Or simply, we could just have a straight line and have the drone fly higher for higher pitches and lower for lower pitches. So I'd like to show you, based on these ideas, a little video of the work we've been doing uh, in my lab. So if you could please play the video. What you're going to see in this video is the drone flying at the sound of this music. The play button is in the lower left part of this slide. And uh, playing at the sound of music with three different trajectories. So you're going to see three different videos with the same uh, music. And the play button is in the lower left <laughs> of the slide. And so one of the trajectories is just as you see here. So you're seeing one of the circles. On your top right is the circle. On your bottom right, you see a pendular motion. And in the middle, you see just a pure straight line. essentially guitar hero with drones. <laughs> uh, to wrap it up, I would like to show you a slide with all of these ideas combined together. We can think of each idea as a letter in an artistic alphabet, and it's up to the artist to combine these letters into sentences that make artistic sense, depending on the choreography. So you can have straight lines, you can have circles, you can have conic, uh, surfaces, you can have helices, Lisa Ju figures. Imagine your favorite band performing in Montreal with drones flying around. You can have also multiple drones in the circle of notes, one drone per note that is being played. So if you play in a piano a chord with three notes, then you have three drones, one in each note. If we could imagine a future interaction of humans and machines through art and music, then I think the future of human-machine interaction will be a brighter future. Thank you very much.